Hello YouTube, I welcome you on this fine day and this is my Sahili Sublime Artificer Historic Brawl deck. This is essentially a bit of a storm deck that uh, has a lot of different win conditions but the most um, common one is either Expansion, Explosion or Banefire combined with a flipped Primal Amulet or a flipped uh, Storm the Vault and then create huge amounts of mana uh, to just kill the opponent in a big explosion. Um, it is quite light on counter spells uh, because we like counter spells. I'm not really that proactive to our game plan. Um, we rather have something like uh, unsubstantiate uh, because with like reduced costs uh, from the electromancers or the primal amulet, we can bounce. Um, uh, we can bounce our own stuff and or just their stuff in general uh, proactively to just get more spells uh, triggered with Sahili and Yeah, I, I think it's a very fun deck. There are a few spicy cards in here like Shimmer Dragon because um, Sahili does produce a lot of artifacts and we can tap them to draw cards Nif Mizzet is also a pretty good win condition in a deck that can just draw 30 cards in one turn uh, and also a card that really helps with drawing that many cards uh, is Distant Memory, uh, uh, Distant Melody, sorry. Because we can choose um, Servo and then we just go off. Um, as for the Mana Rocks, we have four Mana Rocks and the reason we have those four Mana Rocks instead of other Mana Rocks are these are the most efficient Mana Rocks at two mana producing one mana instantly. And Power Stone Chart and Gilded Lotus are really good targets to copy with Sahili. Um, because even even when you don't have any servers on the field, when you play Gilded Lotus, um, you create a server, and even though the uh, server has summoning sickness, when you turn it into an artifact, um, like non-creature artifacts do not have summoning sickness, so you can still tap it immediately, even though it was a creature with summoning sickness. Um, yeah, rest of the deck, lands, uh, and a bit of stuff to survive, like lightning strike and shock, and yeah, aggro is no bueno, um, and let's jump straight into some gameplay, shall we? We are up against Omneth, Locus of the Royal, and Uncomfortable Chill is a pretty nice defensive card, um... Because it can be used proactively to draw cards, but it also saves um, loyalty, like uh, like Sahili some loyalty, so that's pretty good. Because her loyalty is quite important in this deck. I I'm not sure if I want to bin the Shimmer Dragon or the Thirst for Meaning because I want to drop the land and Sahili next turn, so I don't. I think Thirst for Meaning is that important right now. Right. Yeah. So we drop Sahili. If we draw an untapped land, we can drop the Electromancer and the Uncomfortable Chill. I mean, if that doesn't work out, we can just Electroman. Oh, how many more lands do they have in hand? Just one, okay. So, let's see. That's an elemental, right? Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to drop the Electromancer. And... Drop the Temple. Oh, Amulet is obviously perfect. And then we hold up the Blink of an Eye uh, to bounce the Dryad of Elysium Grove in response to the Omneth entering the battlefield. Uh, because we let that resolve, they will target the Electromancer. Right? Oh no, they target the Sahili. So we still do it like this. Yep. Inventive. That's pretty decent. I like that. And now we just drop the primal amulet. The uncomfortable chill does only cost one at this point. And so one play that you can make in this deck is transform a servo into an amulet. But uh, that we do get the cost reduction over the turns because this is not legendary, so we can actually copy it, right? 
But the other thing is, uh, the servo primal amulet cannot flip because it ha doesn't have a, a back side. It just has the front side, so that does not work. So you only want to flip the actual amulet and not the cop uh, not the token. They do ramp quite a bit here. There's a decent amount, so we will obviously jump block with a server. Um, in this spot, the thirst for meaning was probably better to keep, but... I mean, it still draws me a card, right? So let's get you. Yes, perfect. Now with all the cost reduction, we can really, really go off. Um, or we could just play a Shimmer Dragon and call it a day. And then just save that for later. <clears throat> can we actually flip the amulet? Likely. It is likely that we flip the amulet. And I think we sh probably should flip the amulet right now. But I'm not sure. Hmm, that's it is interesting because we only draw one additional card from the Shiver Dragon. Um, and if we flip the amulet now and draw into a Banefire, we can win next turn. So I think we just go for it here to flip the amulet and try to win next turn. So let's see what we draw first. Maybe we want to copy something else with the expansion explosion, or we just do this. I think this is <laughs> pretty reasonable. Because we will flip the Storm the Vault. Um, sure, we swing with the Electromancer because we will never ever block with it. We will create a treasure, flip, and now we can actually, like, um, copy the Chemistress Inside in their turn. Oh, just play the Chemistress Inside, and then we can flip the Primal Lamlet and then just have a big ass. Expansion explosion coming down Which is pretty great in my opinion um, hmm. Cult of it Sure any anything that doesn't interact with us really is welcome Trample would be a bit annoying on Omneth, but manageable I think in this case we are going to float the mana now. Discard the let's discard Steam Winds. And do no, I think Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do it like this. Because the expansion explosion is actually a win condition here. So let's see. We... Shock? Yep. Yes, we transform you. And... You... You... Then we t copy you. I know how to stop you. So let's count because that that is one cost reduction here, and that costs four at a base, so it's three. So that's twelve, right? That's exact lethal. Yep, pretty nice. Thank you very much, it is nice indeed. And even if they have a counter... Yes, we decline. And we still draw a ton of cards here. And there is another Banefire, so... <laughs> yeah. Pretty great. Oh, uh, so let's discard everything except one land. Uh, because we may want to draw... I. I I'm not sure if we even need additional draw at this point. Don't think we need the Shimmer Dragon. And I don't think the Stainful Stroke 
come in will come in handy as well. Oh sure, Narset, you can go as well. Oh, uh, because we want to drop one land before the bane fire happens. Just in case. And the main concern here is obviously trample from their side. Like any way that they can give Rada and or Omneth trample is going to be lethal. Ooh. Oof. But I Yeah, they can't they 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 do draw a lot of cards, but they don't do anything to kill us here. Which is great, because that obviously means that we will kill them. Uh, we will probably let Sahili die if they attack Sahili here. The uh, reason for that being um, she is not no longer useful. Right? I mean, we can create servers first, but is that, is that actually more mana? Um than if we just spent all our mana right now. And I don't think so. If she, she was at three, we could play Power Stone shard and copy that shard and that would not totally be more mana. But since she's only at two life, I don't think that will be worth it. Uh, I will block that though. I don't feel comfortable. So, okay, this is essentially free, right? And then we tap everything. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. So let's count. Oh, uh, that's uh, 14 in total. Oh, cancel. Because of the cost reduction. And then we just bane fight them to death. GG. We are up against the Yorians. And Yorian just got a big buff because currently we are in M21 and I'm basically waiting for Jumpstart to get released. Um, and they changed the rules how commanders work. So now it, the changing zones is not a replacement effect to put it into command zone and rather it is just, um, uh, what do you call it? You actually put the commander into a zone and then you put it into command zone. So what happens is you used to be able to just... Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what to play here. But anyways, you use, when an opponent used the banishing light on your commander it was, and you put it into command zone and then you destroyed the banishing light and would return from the command zone on the battlefield again. But it, now it doesn't do that anymore, so that's a big buff to Yorian decks in Brawl. And I think my opponent may have a counter spell up here. So let's just play the Mindstone. Because the other play would be play Sahili. Um, then uh, play the Mox Amber and keep up myth Mystical Dispute or Shock. But this is just a safer play overall. And we can like Lightning Strike something like some creature that they may want to blink with Yorian. Okay, yeah. Sure, Gold Neck. Which is great, right? Yes, because now we can just drop Sahili safely on the board. Oh, sure. So you, we do this, this, and this. Drop the Mox Amber. And... I think we're just going to flip the Storm the Vault here. Yep. Oh no, it's five or more, right? Oh well. But... Still a decent play, in my opinion. There is the Banishing Light. <laughs> yep. There was actually the Banishing Light happening. Let's whittle our opponent down and pass the turn. We have counter spells. If they play... Um, Yorian, 
we can chemist this inside in there instead. I'm feeling good about this. Oh, okay, sure. Um, so let's just... Yeah, let's chemist this inside here to see what we draw. Okay. Uh, we could just flip the amulet in the turn, right? Does that work? So amulet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 2, 1, 2. No, we can't instantly flip the amulet in our turn. Well, we could, but I don't think we should. Uh, let's just do it like this. Oh, yes. Ah. Well, this opens up interesting options. We could just discard the Mystical Dispute and keep all the proactive cards in the hand. Oh, we could just try to flip the amulet, in, but for that to happen, we need to have an additional three mana spell available to us. Um, let's start with one. Shock you. Attack. Then... Two. Oh no, that doesn't work. Oh well. In that case, I think I'm just going to... Because with an additional one mana spell, we could have copied the Mox Amber, essentially sacrificing it, right? But not like this. So let's just pass the turn, keep up the Mystical Dispute. <clears throat> and I kind of want to flip the amulet into Karn Sample Sundering to seal the game. Yeah, let's just triple block this. And now they want to probably play Yorian here, and we're going to Mystical Dispute it. Oh no, it's just a Solemn Simulacrum. Nice. So we're likely going to have game here because... Uh, Secrets of the Gold City will draw us more cards. Right. Yeah, uh, is that only instant or sorcery? Yeah, because now lightning strike you, transform you. Yep. And now Oh, I mean I'm in I think I think I want to do like this. The sole reason for this is um, I want to be able to uh, counter something here. Um, okay, so, so we win. But I, I wanted to have one additional mana because in case they had a mystical dispute we could dispute it on your, our own. But yeah, taking double exit turns with them, uh, the, uh, like this uh, uh, army of tokens would just win, the, win us the game. GG. We are up against pirates. Let's see. Hmm. So we really, really want to go first, but I guess that's one factor we cannot decide really. Hmm. Shock is, shock is a decent start. I, I like a shock. 
I probably start with the tapped castle ventress here and up for land. I will save the mox ever f uh, for the point when Sahili comes down. Oh yeah, that's that's decent. I'm also not really afraid to use bane fire on some early drops here. So we'll wait until the firebrand attacks. Now we shock it. And we up. Ah, I guess I guess opting here was a mistake. Because we could have just played the Mox Amber and then used the opt. Oh uh, well. So we could have dropped the signet here by sacrificing the Mox Amber, essentially, but I don't think this is too great of a play. Next turn we can just Distant Melody to draw three cards though. Could have been four with the opt. Uh, yeah, sure. A one mana spell would be optimal here. To use our mana efficiently. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, the op definitely was a mistake. Damn it. Oh well. So we signet. And then we choose a creature type servo. Draw three here. So, I mean, it's not too bad overall right now. Hostage Shaker is probably going to grab an Arcane Signet here. Or maybe the Mox Amber because they can replay that immediately. Oh no, it's going to be the Signet. So I think we will most likely just Bane fire the Hostage Taker for 3 here. Because that does seem like a decent decision. You, and then... Yeah. Because I really want my artifact. And that allows us to disdainful stroke the... Back at brass or hold up brazen borrow for something else. Yeah, seems nice. At this point we just want more gas essentially. Oh, I think I'm going to put a stop on the upkeep for Castle Ventress. But yeah, uh, Cast of Ventress will probably probably get us there. Let's see. Uh, sure. That is absolutely fine. And I'm going to Brazen Borrow you, just for tempo. And more tokens, obviously. Okay. Cast of Ventress and Upkeep. Drawn from Dreams, this is exactly what we want. And... We will continue to wait, or... I mean, we could draw from Dreams, but in that case we can't Disdainful Stroke. And if we don't Disdainful Stroke, we can still Brazen Borrow them. Oh, well, on our, uh, in their end steps, so... I think I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, sure. Coming down. And we will Brazen Borrow here. Okay. Uh, let's start out with a conservative Drawn from Dreams. Primal Amulet and Expansion Explosion seem quite nice. But, I mean... So, if, if we take both here... Like, if I'm going to take the Amulet, I'm likely taking the Radical idea with it. Right? To just flip it uh, really quickly. If I'm taking the expansion explosion, I'm all... I don't know what I would take with that one, though. 
Hmm, tough choice. Because the amulet... Um, hmm. Yeah. So... I mean, just the flipped amulet doesn't do too much on its own. So I think I'm... I will pick the amulet just to pick the amulet, but the game plan is still mainly focused around um what's it called uh expansion explosion so i'm taking the amulet just to have the amulet but my intention isn't to flip the amulet as fast as possible oh, also i should have oh them i should have transformed um an arcan signet here to have more um well, to have one mana up in their turn for Admiral Rebecca Brass. Anyways, uh, well, they're just holding up mana for counters. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I mean, swinging with everyone? That's six additional damage on the ground. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, they're holding up counters or something like that, so I'm totally chilling here. Dreamcaller Siren. I think I will just... So that's what? Five... Yeah. X equals five to hold up... Um, expansion uh, to hold up Disdainful Stroke. Yep. And do we just take this? Oh, damn, that's awful. That is absolutely awful. I am amazed. Yep, and then just counter you. GG, I guess? I mean, they don't know that we ju basically just drew lands. <laughs> Let's see. Captain Landry Storm coming down, sure. Rune Rider. Raider. Sorry. And I think I will let this one through, right? And we will just kill them on the backswing. Oh, upkeep. I don't even think there is a need to do that, right? Yeah. Oh, also, I put them in the wrong order. Yeah, we will just kill them. But the other order, it, it should have been Thrill of Possibility on top. And then we could have copied the Reunion instead of the Possibility with the Flipped Amulet. Oh well, GG. We are ready to go against Admiral Becca Brass. Lightning Strike, yeah. Seems seems like a great card. I, I really want a lightning strike or a bounce effect in the early game to just deal with whatever comes down because if they can play back at brass um, while they have three pirates on the field, it's getting really, really annoying. So let's see. If they don't play anything, we will just thrill off possibility here. But I think I will lightning strike a... Yep, I will lightning strike anything at this point just to protect the Sahili. So, Sahili. Next turn we can play Signet, copy Signet, Amulet. Right? Yeah. Do this. Copy you, amulet. Nice. So Sahili will get hit to one, but this way we have one more mana next turn, which is probably going to be really relevant with the primal amulet. They're not attacking the Sahili, which I think is a mistake because our loyalty on Sahili is really valuable for this deck. Rune Raider, okay. Sure. Oh yeah, perfect. 
And do I try to go off now or do I wait? I think I will discard the land. Um, try and fish for something here. But I think I won't overextend. Yeah, I mean, that is fine. Negates, unsubstantiates. I'd rather hold on to, uh, to, uh, on to this cathartic reunion with more control magic because we have three control pieces essentially uh we can just wait and then flip the amulet this way and we draw two more cards next turn and we can discard those with to the reunion copy it with the flipped amulet Okay. I will trade you. Sure. And I will probably unsubstantiate. Yeah, I will unsubstantiate the token here. Makes sense to me. Yep. Command tower. Uh, I don't think it... I really want to hold up the negate here. Hmm. It's a bit tricky. It is indeed a bit tricky. I, I think I want to hold up negate and uh, disdainful stroke just to back up the disdainful stroke with the negate essentially. Maybe it was also mis yeah, it probably was a mistake to play this land because we want to have something to discard to the reunion. If they attack with anything though, one one of their things will die. Um do I want to counter this? Yeah, I, I think I'm just countering this because uh, it progresses my amulet. Also, that can get annoying when they attack with the three power flyer each turn and Sahili won't stick around and uh, yeah, overall just annoying. Just play back at brass, please. Would be a pleasure to counter that. <clears throat> and they are taking on lightning strike to kill the Sahili. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yep, lightning strike, Sahili. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and we have one more mana to disdainful stroke whatever is coming whatever is coming next, right? Uh sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um I think I will block this before like I have the chance to do this. Oh my god. Um, oops. Like, as soon as, as I did the blocks, I knew that it was stupid, right? Oh well. This is fine, though. Yeah. Because this draws me a card. They have to replay this later. Yep, transform you. And now I can... Damn. Yeah. Seems pretty fine to me. Because we are ascended after all, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, yeah. We are ascended. So we draw 6 cards off of that. And have a disdainful stroke ready to go. Um, we could just electromancer here. Oh, sure. I think I'm fine with doing that. Red, blue, and then we have. We're just quite flexible in their turn, essentially. We could disdainful stroke, we can shock. Of all, just nice place available. So, let's see. Uh, oh, 
Interesting. Admiral back at brass? Most likely, right? Yeah, and we disdainful stroke that 100%. Yup. <laughs> they will kill Sahili, which makes sense, I guess. Right? Oh, uh, yes, I, I would like to put her into the command zone, would be decent. Sleep. Huh, that is for the weak. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, we have four more mana available to us. Which essentially, like, Svenseli comes down and essentially costs one less if I have a mana rock out, right? So, it's fine. Um... I think I want to copy a draw from Reims here. Just to s I, like this way, we are very likely to set up lethal next turn. Yeah, there is our lethal. Um, one more thing though. What do we plan to do after this? Uh, obviously the land. Yeah, I guess a. Mindstone is decent. Oh yes, Mox Amber. Most yeah, 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 Mox Amber. And Mystical Dispute seems fine. Because now we can Mox Amber here. Right? Yeah, then we Do we even do anything else? Do we play the Mindstone or do we not play the Mindstone? I I guess we just copy the signet. And then just reuse that for a cathartic reunion because we have a lethal anyways with Banefire. And I'd rather just set up my hand here and then we keep up the shock and the mystical dispute. For anything that could cross our paths. So shock is going on the unblockable thingy. Uh, in response to the back of brass coming down and if they try to counter that uh, in response to that we are just countering uh, uh, I think I will do this now anyways um, we are just countering um, back at brass sure And if they try to sleep here, we can dispute it. Pretty great. I mean, the Bane Fire plan is nice, but we could also just Temporal Sundering them to death. Um, Which I believe is less risky here. Uh, X equals 11. Right. So we make this into a something that we can protect the mystical dispute with. But I mean, um, doesn't matter too much because it's uncounterable. So we just bane fire them twice and kill them. It is indeed nice opponent. Thank you very much. Good game. Yep, can't re you. GG. So, let's see. We are up against Kaikar. And Zirda. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to be spicy. We don't have red, but our deck doesn't really need red that much to function. And Narset is really, really nice against other blue decks. Oh, hello. I'm very interested in what our opponent is going to do here. So, do we play Narset or Sahili first? Narset versus Sahili. Overall, it's more value for us to play the Sahili, but bag of holding becomes really bad with a nice set on the field. 
But I think we want to get out the Sailey before it gets countered and then just start making tokens. Uh, because, uh, like, the sole reason for that, why we want more tokens right now, is that we have the distant mel melody available to us. We really don't worry too much about what they have on the board, because we can just... Um... I think we're going to pass with Disdainful Stroke and Unsubstantiated Hand. Um, we don't really care about too much what they put on the board as long it's, as it's not flying, right? Selfless savior. What a good boy. Interesting concept. <clears throat> Spinning wheel. We could just unsubstantiate that. Um... To deny them a bit of mana, because they hopefully can't replay that, they can't play the Zirda, so I hope. But the main problem becomes um, that we don't can't do anything else, but I think it's still worth it, because it just puts us in a really, really nice position here. Because they have two instead of three mana by doing this, they can't replay the spinning wheel and hopefully just pass the turn, right? Okay, treasure map is also fine. So, oh, let's play Narset, shall we? Because Narset is quite annoying. But the main purpose of Narset is right now not to lock the opponent down, it's just there to uh, get a bit of extra value here and there. And I ideally want to draw a mana rock. Something like a Gilded Lotus would just be fine. <clears throat> I hope our opponent is just going to play land, but it's, they are very likely not to play land here. Uh, uh not not to play, like I I excuse me to play land and play Kaika, but they are just not very likely to play Kaika at all here. And they put Zirda into their hand. Nice. We open up the sea. And do we keep Bane Fire? No, we really don't. Do we keep Steam Vents? Um. I mean, next turn we could just draw a ton of cards. So we just keep digging for something else. Oh yes. Oh yes. Meditate. Prime? Prepare. Yeah, we keep, we play the amulet. So, uh, what are we going to do? One, two, th three. Right, power stone shard. We are going to create a copy of power stone shard. And we are going to use those to play the Primal Amulet. Pretty great, huh? And now we have a lot of options. But since we have the instant speed draw or the sacrifice by the omen, um, I will just hold up um, Disdainful Stroke. And this kind of shows them that we have counter spells, but maybe they think we're bluffing. But it. it's mainly showing them this because they know we have a Drawn from Dreams in hand. Which would be pretty ideal here, not gonna lie, but we have so much card draw in hand that we really don't need the drone from dreams right now because with the cameras inside and whatnot. Oh nice. Hello, Sahili. Yeah, we have enough card draw that we don't really need to be picky here and this melody next turn just should seal the deal. Anyways, we are going to finish up their turn with uh, one counter on Primal Inlet. So we draw three, five, seven cards from Distant Melody. Right? Yeah. If... They, okay, they decided not to attack us. And those seven cards 
I need to draw two playables. Well, <laughs> doesn't look too great, right? But um, <clears throat> let's see. I mean, we could also just copy the amulet for just for the cost reduction, but this is granting us three mana, and I think we will not play more than three spells this turn. Um, so let's see. I mean, we lose out on one server by doing this. But we do anyways, right? Yeah, sure. So let's name Servo. Yep, draw a ton of cards here. And, and we actually just found one more. <laughs> amazing. Just just amazing. I I am in awe. I am amazed. Oh, let's convert this colorless mana into something not colorless, shall we? Uh, three blue, thirst for meaning here. Yep. Oh, uh, sure, we don't need you mounts. Um. Do we transform this now or are we going to play something more? I think we will keep up the disdainful stroke and... Oh yes, you see Mystical Dispute. And next turn just try to go off. Because we still have the Chemist's Inside copy in their turn. Which is going to be amazing as well. Um, So what do we actually have on bottom? The Banefire is quite down there as well as the Expansion Explosion. So I'm going to keep the Fable Passage to shuffle. Uh, Kaikar is going to get Disdainful Stroke, though. Um, but do we play two Disdainful Strokes or just one? I think I'm fine with just one right now and then Mystical Dispute, whatever they... Okay, no counters. So we do have quite a few 1-1s one here. One or two. Oh, uh, sure. I will allow it. And we can draw three cards with Radical Idea as well. So one blue, copy the Radical Idea. Sure. Something else in land? Okay, that is something else in land. And <clears throat> get you out of the way. And try to do something big here. So we haven't seen the current temporal sundering though. And considering that, we haven't seen the sundering. We know the at least the five bottom cards, right? So we can and we can look at the top 14. So I I think our chances are really, really high right now to draw into Sundering. So, what's te uh, like this is telling me that I can just uh, essentially go for uh, uh, to like go and fish for the Sundering, and this would also just mean probably okay. This is one way to do it, right? Um. Blink of an eye is one mana. Yes, yeah, sure. Or do we just... I think Blink of an eye is a decent option here. Yep, there is the Sundering and the Storm the Vault. To top it all off. And... Yeah. So we Storm the Vault. Yep. Sundering with counter spell backup. Returning the Mox Amber to hand. And that sh uh, should just finish the game. Because we are going to blink. 
uh, the selfless savior. Uh, yep, lightning strike to zero. And attack twice. GG. <clears throat> yep. And and turn and go into the extra turn. And attack for lethal. Yep, GG. We are up against Nico Bolas, Dragon God. No, the Ravager, not the Dragon God. Oh, this seems like a fine hand. It allows for some shenanigans to be had. So the question remains, how do I play this? Oh, Siren Storm Tamer. I don't want to see that. Because that means our Sahili will get a bit of damage over time. Very interesting. Um. Hmm. So I could try to just create a wall of 1-1 one, one tokens. Um. Like next turn. If I knew that I, like, if I had another land in hand, I would go for Signet, like land, Signet, Sahili, then put Sahili to two, and current Temporal Sundering next turn. I think I will play it a bit more safe here, um, by holding up a blink of an eye. And an unsubstantiate, or just blink of an eye with... Uh... What's it called? Just blink of an eye with kicker. So, yeah, I'm just going to... Yep, blink of an eye here. Oh, I mean, that wasn't the smartest idea, right? Oh well. Mm, sure, I guess another land is fine because you can then proceed to play Narset and probably still get a decent amount of value. Like, because Nar we are very likely to just, in general, draw, like, a big draw spell. So we're fine with drawing lands here. Agon- <laughs> Nice. Oh. Interesting. Because we can, in fact, just... Okay, interesting. Because we can just unsubstantiate the Siren Storm Tamer. Uh... I mean... Uh. Yeah. Submit zero, maybe? Don't know. Ah, oh, damn. Them taking the Narset is really annoying. I think that, that was actually a decent play because we can get an extra turn, but it's not useful. So let's not take an extra turn. Yep. Yep. We unsubstantiate you. Sure. They still should attack the Sealy. <clears throat> uh, 
that's swinging. Oh, uh, do we take an extra turn here? Maybe. Oh, uh, sure. Let's get the counter out of the way. We are returning our own Arcan Signet so we can play it again. Uh, because we don't have anything to do with our mana anyways. Uh, so we play... We use the Signet here uh, because... That way we can generate more tokens onto the battlefield. Signet. Sulfur Falls. And then discard the Mountain to Debriel. Pretty nice. Or maybe we can... Okay, so, like, I would have liked to see them... Uh, play the Nicol Bolas here. To, and we could have disdainful struck it, but oh well. I will, however, attack Davriel with three tokens. Because in case they have a shock or a lightning strike up, Time to run again. so Gilded Lotus, create another token. Sure. Like any anything that draws us cards is pretty nice here. Yeah, nope, not going to happen. Swan song. I guess, I guess. It's not the worst. Oh yes. Here we go, I guess. Oh yes. Uh, I guess we keep that on top, right? Because that's four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. We keep that on top because it's still decent to draw into. Uh, they don't have a blue... And I know I could copy... Like, this would draw us three additional cards. But how valuable is that compared to letting Sahili stick on the field and having the mana in more important turns? I don't think it's too important here. So let's just draw a lot of cards here. Yep. So, let's see. We could still just do... Yeah, we could still do Lotus into... Yeah, I, th I think that's worth it. Because now we... Yes. Make this into a Lotus. Play the Power Stone Shard. And anticipate. Uh, sure. Nif Mizzet plus Shimmer Dragon seems like a really nice deal here. Because that will probably just kill them. <clears throat> and by the way, I'm not playing Swansong in this deck because the bird token is actually a really annoying for this deck to deal with. Sure, I will discard a land. I'm fine with that. And then I will deal lethal to you. Um, yeah, I am going to do it like this. And... Then you... You... And draw a bunch of cards. Nice. GG. We are ready to play against Giganta. And yeah, I believe this is a decent hand. Since there are they are on the play, I think the stainful stroke is quite a bit better than if we are on the play. 
Um, sure. Bane fire in the early game can pick off a mana dork. Let's just hope they don't open up with a land wolves. Turn two is likely to be just charter curse. Turn one, maybe I don't even opt right. Um. Oh well. Sure. And so our turn two changed because Electromancer is pretty decent. I think I'm f like I don't need to search anything with the opt right now, so I think I will keep it and play the Electromancer here. Let's just hope they don't kill it uh, right away. Please don't. You're hovering it. Oh, I. That's actually okay. Because the body is also quite relevant in protecting city. Oh, uh, I would, I would like to draw another blue source here and there. Um, I mean, I don't want this Sator Enchanter to stick around. So I'm just going to pay two. Yep. And then I will opt in the end step. Yiganta is coming down though. In that case, we have the Brazen Borrow ready to go. Yes, blue, please. I need the blue sources. Um... Yeah, we need to Brazen Borrow here. Um, otherwise, we can't disdainful stroke the Giganta. Yep. So that's nice. Um, yeah, let's see. Disdainful stroke Giganta. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that. Draw a card. And they are using the Assassin's Trophy. Huh. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yes, take action. And now we have the option of using the radical idea again. I think like the main thing we want to counter is Giganta, but at the same time Blink of Night does the same job but different, right? So we can bend the reactive card. Uh sure we don't need red at all right now. So let's swing in. And Yep, Signet. Copy Signet and draw two cards. We are using the draw two instead of the card selection here because we don't need to find anything specific right now and anticipate is better at doing that, but we rather care about total value right now. So this is more total value obviously, but this is a better card selection tool if we need to find something specific, but we really don't right now. So I'm using the charter cards over the anticipate. Giganta's coming down, sure. So I think. Yeah, this is lethal, right? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, very hard choice, right? Uh, decline. And then we just blink of an eye. Giganta. And GG. Yep, and we had the Disdainful stro uh, Stroke as well against blue spells. <laughs> so this is it for the video, I hope you enjoyed the games as much as I did, and uh, yeah, I think the deck is pretty decent. Uh, 
maybe it's not comparable to the best decks in the format but it can still hold its ground uh, I think it's pretty strong overall and you can make some pretty disgusting lines of plays with this deck um, maybe I want to go down on the mountains and a bit more islands here and there also I don't think jumpstart will bring too much new toys to this deck, but we'll have to see because when Jumpstart gets released, maybe I see new lines of play for this kind of deck. Uh, maybe you want to cut the Shimmer Dragon. I see that not being the most insane card in the deck, but it, it, like in this deck, you usually run a bit low on cards, then you draw a big draw engine like Drawn from Dreams, Distant Melody, uh, Shimmer Dragon, and then you just pop off, right? So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the games. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.